Hey guys, today we gonna talk about network topology and what are different of network topologies available? So, first of all, what is network topology? It's basically an arrangement about how network devices or computers connect to each other. For example, a college campus has different departments locating at different locations. So, to reach each department, a path is selected. It's created a topology of the entire campus of a different route. There are basically six types of network topologies first of them and the simplest one is a point-to-point. -point. It's consists of two hosts connected back-to-back -back with the help of a single piece of cable. The second one is the bus topology. In this topology, we connect all the devices on a network along a single cable running in a single direction from one end of the network to others. This is also known as backbone topology. Data will only flow in one direction only at any given time. Advantages of bus topology are it's cost effective for smaller network due to simple layout. It can be extended if the need arises. Now, the disadvantage of bus topology is that it uses a single cable to transmit data and if the cable experience somehow a failure, the entire network goes down and to repair it become time consuming and expensive to restore. Now, let discuss star topology. It's a network which relays upon some middleware or other device which transmit data on their behalf. Advantages of star topology. It's convenience to emanate age entire network from one location. If one computer goes down, others will not be affected. Additionally, a device can be removed, add or modify without taking the entire network down. Now, disadvantage of star topology is if the center device or middleware goes down, then the entire network can't function. Overall bandwidth is also affected due to all the device relay on the center device for transmission. Now, the fourth one is the ring topology. Ring topology is where an entire network is a form in the shape of a ring. Since each device is only connected to the ones on either side, when data is transmitted, the packets also travel along the circle, moving through each of the intermediate nodes until they arrive at their destination. Advantage of ring topology is that it's cost effective and easy to install. The disadvantage is that if one of the nodes goes down, then the entire network will be failed and two devices can't send data at the same time. It also not easy to manage, add, reconfigure nodes without taking the entire network down. Now, mesh topology. It is a topology where every node is connected with every other node. There are two techniques to transmit data over the mesh topology, first one is flooding and another one is routing. Let's discuss routing first. With routing, the message is propagated along a path by hopping from node to node until it reaches its destination. To ensure that all its paths are available, the network must allow for continuous connections and must reconfigure itself around broken paths, using self-healing algorithms. And in flooding, the data is simply broadcast everywhere, so it's unlikely to lose data but it eventually leads to having an unwanted load on the network. Advantage of mesh topology is that it fully robust and unlikely to fail. Failure is easy to repair. The disadvantage is that it's very costly and installation and configuring is very difficult. The last topology is hybrid topology. A hybrid topology is a combination of two or more topology and it is commonly used in large companies where each department has own specific topology according to needs and network usage. Advantage of hybrid topology is the degree of flexibility it provides, and it's easy to detect and troubleshoot. It's also scalable. Disadvantage of the hybrid network is that it's complex in design and costly to build one. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video.